Good afternoon, good evening, my wonderful people of God. Depends on your geographical location. Welcome back to Omo Biafra channel. We will bring you the latest trending news from Biafra land, Nigeria, and all over the globe. Today, we are going to look into what is going on in Nigeria government today, where the Boko Haram brother, Buhari brothers are demanding 100 million to pay to them. They kidnap about six police officers. Remember that Buhari happened to be the spokesman of this Boko Haramist during the time of Good Luck Jonathan. In only when they are doing what they were doing to hijack the, the government of the day, thinking that they are doing more harm to the Igbo people and all that the rest of the government of Nigeria, today they are now enjoying the fruit of their labor. So let's see how this play out and let's see how all those things started. Because when you're doing something thinking that you are hurting the next person, you didn't know that you are hurting yourself the more. Now the country are being run by bandits and they are being groomed. They are being pampered. Let's hear from this our noble retired soldier. you 
the way it is today. He said that during the time when he was in training in Zaria, that they are going to load the trailer load of Fulanese from nowhere. Those who are not qualified, who cannot even write their name, they will load them from nowhere. They will enter the training camp. All of them, and they say the order is from Sultan of Sokoto. And the Sultan of Sokoto gave the list to the military head there. They are going to enlist all these people in the trailer and they become Nigerian military. And that's how you see somebody like Brutai today. That, and that was exactly the same way to Harry, you know, went into Nigerian military through a recommendation from the school principal, according to the story. So, and this man that is telling this story now is not a Biafra, like I said, he is not also, he is not even from the South. Now, but he is tired of Nigeria. He is tired of Nigeria. Now listen. To replace you. So that was his idea. When I joined the army, I've been posted to the north. Though when I was there, I saw so many emulation that uh, if you are not hearing their language, you'll be suffer. For example, maybe your, you and your fellow recruits have uh, some kind of argument and they struggle to come. Now I explain in a Hausa language, and why you cannot be able to speak Hausa. You will bring your head down and they will start flogging you with, uh, with uh, the normal stick they are using to react cow. Now what they are using to be a thousand. So, but I discovered that even our training, there are most of our training, and uh, what they are teaching us is uh, they are teaching in Hausa language there. Then, so look at the story show we went to uh, after passing uh, we posted to Bonica from Bonica they move us to Sokoto. First uh, 26 battalion we they move us to Sokoto. Our CEO there 26 battalion is the one that leak the secret of uh, uh, that uh, that uh, um, coup that they lock uh, Obasanjo. So our CEO there was J.B. Yakubu. They make him a governor of Zamfara State. That's the first governor of Zamfara State. That Abasha gave him a governor to a uh, governor there to compensate J.B. Yakubu. So and they move up you, uh, we as uh, the lawyer boy and uh, our CEO are good. They move up to Sokoto there. While he was a governor, but we are performing duty to cover our gun. Um, Zafara because there is no barrack then there. So from there they make a way for us. We went to um, uh, Liberia. From Liberia we moved to Sierra Leone. But uh, when we come back as a common then, I just want to tell you some story. You see, Liberia war. People don't know why we get to that war. People don't know why we are in Sierra Leone. But I want to leave this take here for you. In Liberia. They only sell there because of, not because of any peace. One, it's because of the money to bring to Nigeria. That is why they send us there. And reaching that place, I can tell you, Papa, through that, if we shall still have the first election, we ring the election for a favor of it, because it bring money. Getting there, we are just, Nigeria are just doing, their officers are just doing business up and down, carrying women. The number of soldiers that died there is not this one. When we moved to Sierra Leone, the same thing, the Abasha was having men on ground to mine diamond for him on Kono. Kono is the boundary between Sierra Leone and uh, Liberia. That is where my unit. Now, you are hearing authentic information. Authentic. You know, whatever we do, we be our friends. Whatever we do, we don't just go. We are the, you know, the, you found the best, one of the best investigative teams you get on the media is there because we are taking over the media. So, this man you hear now, this is authentic information, secret information you don't know about Nigeria. Do you know that the Liberia war was not all about saving the, the Liberia from Abacha? Abacha had people mining diamond for him. So most, most of this money, most of this money that you see that they are repatriated to Nigeria today, we are part of them are blood diamond. Part of them are money from, from Liberia. But Nigeria is collecting the money. Thinking that every money you see in, uh, in, uh, in Abacha 
just uh, on Abacha's name in Switzerland or in America belong to Nigeria. Actually, the money Nigeria is collecting now is a blood money. It's, it's what we call the blood diamond. So, Abacha had people in Liberia mining diamond for him. So, the issue of the echo, for you to know the impunity that Nigeria has been into for a very long time, Abacha sent Nigeria military men just to go to Liberia, not to fight. Of course, in the name of fighting, but the biggest agenda, the main agenda of Abacha was that Abacha had men mining diamond for him in Liberia. And uh, these, are the, these are the things most of you don't know. And why am I bringing this? Why it is good you listening to this history is so that you will, you will relate it to what is going on now in Sabisa Forest in the Northeast and the Northwest. And this military man is going to tell you also what exactly is going on in Sabisa. We deploy. We deploy there with some special for this uh, uh, RR or something from South Africa, those they are missionary. They, uh, even when they call my CEO that uh, they have something like money trying to train them uh, when those uh, rebels are gathering. My CEO tell us that uh, nothing will happen at the end of the day. Those guys give us run. They chase us. They attack us. They kill so many of us ambush. They will still come back. They still mobilize us to, to go and recapture the to cut the story short, my brother, the capture of the free time was not an easy something. Life gone. So many things have bent. There is an officer called Master Kobe. They named the officer name with his uh, in just three amount. He is from Bashama, very strong man. He really is strong and he loves Suja. So because of that, the Suja Mora are high. Yeah. This man, when we are in the operation in Israel, do you know that the Shastelo is sending rebel to uh, Serelo to attack us? He sat down and they plan with the president. We are the people that carry, they call the vehicle Tata, this uh, India vehicle, they call Tata, loaded of ammunition and rifles. We went and formed trains on huge and give them to go back to Liberia to be disturbed in Liberia so that Liberia will not have time to be sending sending a soldier and sending the bed to to Serelo to cut us to the show. Did you understand that? That the Nigeria army had to now armed criminals. They gave arm to criminals to go to to Liberia to go to Liberia or to go there and start causing problems so that the military will not have the time to begin to come and attack and you know to begin to come and, uh, and attack them. You see what the play the game they played in the in Liberia and a lot of people don't know about this. Most of our officers are involved in selling arms for even rebels. That the Nigerian army were selling arms to rebels. No, if you see anywhere there is crisis in, in, in San Nigeria media, they are going to turn it to business. Even Nigeria data, I'm telling you. This northeast you see. Why you see the whole thing is going this? I just want to open your eyes to see what is happening. Buari and some other people that I don't really can mention their name. They are the founder of these boys. Buhari. The man when he was alive for, and whoever that is burying himself now is the founder of Boko Haram and the founder, like they, they are the ones funding them. And of course, there are those he don't want to mention their name. He don't want to mention their name for a reason. But of course, we know them. We know them. Uh, we don't want their name to appear on this day. We know them. And... Uh, we, you know, the international community will follow them as well. So those people, they, are, they think that uh, nobody knows what is happening. They have been busted. They have been busted. They finance them. They collect their money. Some of the money comes from Libya, some from my uh, Arab country. Some of those people go Syria. 
Yemen, all those places to obtain training with the hope that Jonathan will not hand over power so that they will use it to have their own state with their core Syria. Their plan is not to come and capture Lagos or to capture all the northern states and make it as if they are this. And on the line, the story changed. You are listening to authentic, authentic, authentic information from one of the highly intelligent officers in Nigeria. I will not tell go go fast so they don't go and start and start uh, uh, commenting here. Is a very high rank officer of the Nigeria Army. Very high rank officer of the Nigeria Army. And why I'm playing this audio? Because of course it is not everything I play. Why I'm playing this audio is so that you will know why Nigeria is what it is today. You will know how Nigeria has become what it is today. They are not too strong. They flush them out. But after the downfall of Gaddafi, the arms they use there, those boys negotiate and they buy those arms. And though they told the, the people they buy from that they should hold on them. Answer to them. I'm telling you the fact too, because the top top Okwara leader that we captured them, they review it. But it's a national uh, secret. They will not tell anybody. They will not let you people know. You see, it's a national secret. Secret that is national. National secret. A Nigeria army who is fed up of the lies. The impunity going on in Nigeria. He saying this, and believe me, he has never revealed this to anybody except on this. Therefore, the man decided to reveal this to us. And of course, there are so many things that we are not going to make public. But just for you to understand that you have what we call terrorist government. You have what you call terrorist government. He's not telling you everything here. He's telling you that he's intelligent. He called it a national secret. Now listen. They asked those guys that sent those arms for them. Those M16, those AA gun, those powerful weapons that they should hold on after giving them some money. They used those, those guns to attack Yola, Madukuri, all those places, break the bank. To pack money to pay, to pay those guys back. Now, to cut the story short, when the hotel was going, good luck, I mean, Jonathan was running around to get out, he can get arms to give soldiers. Because most of the armor cars that they have in Paoshi, that they claim, the army claim that they have built, those armor cars, they are just old one, refurbished one, they get to battlefield. Those things started there. Uh, when they walk, they will stop. When they walk, they will stop. Now, you remember, all of you remember, when Nigeria military were showing us a refurbished, this uh, armored car that Boko Haram ambushed in Sambisa. A lot of you must remember that video. The video is everywhere. And that's exactly what the, 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 the video of those kind of uh, uh, armored cars and all that, when is there, uh, the video is everywhere. And this man now has just revealed the secret behind the video you see. That the military claiming they have this armored car, have that in the military, that the, the point is that they were a repaired old armored car. Which, when, when the car goes to the war front, you, you, know, you know, you continue to break that. And you can see a lot of them when the Nigerian military, some of the Nigerian military take video and see how they destroy them. That is exactly what this man is telling you. So everything you are hearing from this general, everything you are hearing from this general, this military man, is the first, first hand, first class information. And believe me, you don't even know what we know. You don't know what we know. The Nigeria government, the terrorist government don't know what is coming to them. You don't know what we know now. You see all those things that I'll be keeping, all those secrets, all those national secrets that I'll be keeping, they are being busted by the day. Do you know how many people are resigning from the Nigerian army? You know? You don't know. 
Do you know that uh, the, the military, they are worried? You Have you watched the budget presentation when the military man came to defend budget? He emphasized that the number of people leaving the military uh, was. So, it is not going to be business as usual. Nigeria is going down. And our target, our main priority is to bring Nigeria down and get our freedom. Now, so, Jonathan, I have to go around to get arms for all this Ukraine and all that this time. Those uh, weapon, those T-72 tank, our boys cannot help this, so they have to bring some machinery down to operate those things. Those machinery are the machinery that land in South Africa then, when they are taking money to them to go and pay them before going to Patufis, Madugri, that uh, uh, plane that they are complaining of, uh, this uh, battle research for that he took some money scenario guys they are going there. So now they block Jonathan not to have access to buy weapon from uh, Obama and some other this uh, they deny the whole thing, they frustrate the man. The man still try to bring some US in judge training us, training I mean, before you go to Maduguri and bring some uh, Canadian, some special force from Ukraine that they can read battle. The battle was going very well during before the election. But immediately Buhari came in. Remember he said any attack on the north is a attack on Boko Haram is an attack on North. As though Buhari came came to power, he was he didn't even take any he just asked those uh, foreigners to leave. All of them have to leave. Now you remember when you were watching a white man, a white man narrating how Buhari administration chased them out from Nigeria for fighting against Boko Haram. How many of you have watched the video? How many of you have watched the video? We, I can show you the video. I can show you the video to, for you to understand how the, the Buhari administration have chased them out of Nigeria. Well, most of you have seen the video. I can play it again, of course, so that you understand what is going on. The leaf, the whole thing started turning back. To cut my story short, my brother, as I'm telling you now, Burata have Shekau number, Shekau cellular number, cellular. I'm not talking of just a number, cellular. That Shekau, they communicate at the time. You hear? He said that Burata have Shekau number, Shekau, or how they call it, Sheku. I call him Sheku. Burutai have Sheku number, not a GSM, cellular number, and they communicate. They communicate. This is the this is the most top secret that this Burutai you see, but is communicating with Sheku every every day, and that is the reason why when Sheku want to talk, he will say Burutai, Burutai, I know you, you know me, you know where I am, I know where you are. Have you people? Have you people? Listening to the video of most of the video of uh, of the Boko Haram leader, he's always calling Bruta. You know me, I know you. You know where I am, I know where you are. And this top military officer now is telling us that Bruta communicates with Sheku almost every day on cellular, on cellular. This is the highest, the highest impunity of the century. Now listen. Cut my story short, my brother. As I'm telling you now. Burata have Shekau number, Shekau cellular number, cellular. I'm not talking of just any of cellular that Shekau. They communicate at the time. They give him condition that what no nothing will happen to him. Let him surrender. But the guy refuse. I'm telling you, they know where the guy is. Okay, look at how many thousands of Boko Haram that we arrested. Normally, when we are in Liberia, Sierra when we arrest prisoners of war, we hand over, hand over there to Red Cross. NGO are the one to rehabilitate them, settle them, collect their own. But Nigeria I may never allow anybody to interfere in those boys. It's them that are doing everything because they don't want the secret to leak. Did you hear that? Now, this, this, should, this should keep every Nigerian thinking. You see? This should keep every Nigerian thinking. Now, this military man is telling you that 
when, he, when they were in UN mission, Liberia, um, uh, all these places here, they have been to, that when they capture these rebels or terrorists, they hand them over to Red Cross. But in Nigeria own, it is different. That Nigeria own, the military don't want them to hand, don't want the, the people captured to be handed over to any organization because of the secret. So that the Boko Haram will not, those Boko Haram that is repenting or captured, will not leak the secret to anyone. So it, it, is, it is because they are protecting this, what he called the national secret. And that is the reason why the Red Cross is not controlling his repentant Boko Haram. And ordinarily, ordinarily, all these international organizations are the one to, you know, to be the handover, the repentant one, if they want to rehabilitate them. But in Nigeria, the Nigerian military is the one rehabilitating them. And it has never been like that anywhere. Not in Liberia, not in, uh, in uh, um, uh, what is it called, all these places that they have been to uh, for, for UN, ECOMOG and all that. They have, that has never happened anywhere. It is happening only in Nigeria. And the only reason why, like, why the military are involved in this, in this so-called the rehabilitation is because they are protecting the Boko Haram members not to leak the secret, not to leak any secret to any foreign body or to any organization at all. So they are in control. And believe me, you have to begin to think. Because a lot of videos you have seen from this, the way the military are, are taking charge of those they claim they are rehabilitating should be telling you something very, very important. Then I go to the Isekahu, but the guy refused to accept what they are saying. Many occasions they have given him money, they have promised him many things, but you can still see. Because they are looking for a way, not for the secret, the guy to vomit secret, tell them that, okay, the person is the one that found remember now when they said they want to have meeting with uh good good law say want to dialogue with them they say Buhari should go for them so that one aside my brother it's a long story but what i want to tell you is this i don't know how you be is it right i think uh i think uh you know we have got, we now we are now in the in the part where you cannot hear so so now this is exactly what is going on. And they remember now that they are paying them 150,000 every month. Do you know, do you see that? 150,000 every month. And the, the reason they are paying that money is not because they want to rehabilitate, it's because those who are coming out now, they are trying to bribe them. So the 150,000 is not a rehabilitation money. The 150,000 naira per month, which the, which the military don't receive, which the police don't receive, which other security agencies don't receive. In fact, for you to collect 150,000 as a security personnel in Nigeria, you must be some, you know, you, your rank must be very high. So, but they are paying Boko Haram members, repetitive Boko Haram members, 150,000. It is a bribe. It is a bribe. It has not. Thank you, my wonderful people. We are going to draw the curtain very soon. You have heard it all that our government are the ones sponsoring Boko Haram. Brutai have cellular number of uh, Shekua and all that and all that. That is to tell you that Buhari knows what is going on. But unfortunately, as you can see, that God reigns in the affairs of men. That things are no longer working as they wanted it. They are now borrowing money from foreign nations to be able to sustain the goons and the evil they have nurtured in Nigeria. And I believe, I believe that no matter how they are swindling their affairs and the, uh, the economy of the country to fund their evil, that every one of them are experiencing the evil that they have already hatched. So I want you to begin to think like our brother Simon says, you need to start thinking. I'm saying this for so many of us who are still dreaming of one Nigeria, that Nigeria is redeemable. As you can see, Nigeria is irredeemable. The amount of money that these children are making without laboring for it, there is no way they are going to make such amount of money. It's going to be they want to maintain the business as usual. 
So as a good citizens of Nigeria, I am urging you, I am begging you to start thinking on how you can be an instrument to voice out to, you know, to unveil whatever you know. Do you understand? There are so many people in good people in nigeria who are out to be free from the shackles of the enemy because to be honestly with you fulani is a shackle that have to be dealt with and until we come to the realization that all of us are in danger imagine the all the other nations they put them away but these people they are keeping them because they are using them as missionaries terrorism is a business if you don't know that terrorism is a business they use them to extort money. They use them to do all kinds of things. Now they are demanding 100 million from Buhari. And believe me, and believe me, like I said, they are going to pay this money. So who are we crying for? Are we crying for Boko Haram? Are we crying for our government? Our government is in it from the get going. Thank you for listening and God.